five. We are not going to wait. We will start now. Okay, as a As we mentioned yesterday, okay, there are a few uh, reaction with alkyne. Mainly, is an uh, addition reaction because alkyne is an uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon, and it have two pi bond. So the two pi bond, of course, is more uh, it's reactive compared to sigma bond, uh, like uh, in the alkene. Okay, the only sigma bond alkene have uh, one pi bond, and alkene have two pi bond. That means there could be a two more of addition, okay, two times addition into the first time adding in breaking of the first pi bond, then it form a alkene. Then the second reaction because it's still alkene functional group, we can still undergo a second addition, okay. So the total of two equivalent of the uh, the reagent will be added like HX and H uh, uh, X two, okay. Or uh, the hydration reaction, we will study eh, all this reaction uh, in the uh, slide to come. Okay, we might not be able to finish today because now we only at the uh, slide thirteen. This chapter have almost forty slides, so if we cannot finish today, we will continue by Monday. Okay, Monday then also uh, we will discuss the past two question. Not every question, but some of the question that you you want to ask. Okay. So let's see. Eh? This uh, addition reaction also include hydro hydrogenation. Eh? Hydrogenation means adding of H two into the uh, pi triple bond. In this case, the first addition will yield an alkene. Okay, it's possible for the alkene to undergo the following reaction eh? to get an alkene. In this case, you are using. Uh, Linder catalyst. Uh, you just have to know the Linder catalyst. Normally, we won't ask you uh, because it's very long. Powdered uh, barium sulfate coated with palladium, poisoned with quinoline. Uh, so, very long. So, you just have to know the word Linder catalyst is enough. Uh. So, what is so significant about this Linder catalyst? Because the addition is you will only form a cis alkene because it's a Syn addition. Last time you still remember you studied uh, the most of the reaction that we study is anti addition. Eh? In this case, this is syn addition. Syn addition means he added from the same side. You can say that this is triple bond. It will slowly interact with the, this uh, palladium. Okay. Then the the H two bond will be donated from here. It just is enough eh, to draw this out. Okay. How does it add it? So the two hydrogen is added from the same side. Okay, the breaking of the pi bond and the forming of the two H bond. Okay, two hydrogen bond. So this is a syn addition, and the result is what we call a cis alkene eh, will form, adding from the same side. Okay, then later we are going to see hydrogenation. Hydrogenation means adding of H two using sodium in liquid ammonia. Okay, sodium in liquid ammonia. So this what we call the uh, addition. Let's let read from here. Eh? So in this reaction, you use uh, dry ice to keep ammonia liquid because ammonia liquid is uh, is uh, the what we call the boiling point is very low. Okay, so you need to use the ammonia to keep so that you know, if you exposed to room temperature, it will just evaporate. Eh? So uh, as uh, sodium uh, later, you dissolve the sodium matter, dissolve in the ammonia. So once you put the uh, sodium matter into the ammonia, this is what happened. Eh? So, uh, what we call solvation. Eh? Or the electron is now solvated by the ammonia, creating a deep blue solution. When you put a sodium matter into the ammonia uh, solution, you will get a deep blue solution. Okay. So this is what happened because uh, so your sodium will release one electron and uh, this is your sodium matter then in the ammonia uh, then you will get a sodium positive plus E negative okay so you release of a an electron uh, because the sodium now the sodium is positive charge so your ammonia you uh, 
you have a lone pair, isn't it? So the ammonia will point it this way, eh? like it's shown in the diagram here. Okay? While your electron, now the electron is negatively charged. Okay? And your ammonia now have two, three H, isn't it? Uh, you were pointing, pointing to the electron. This is what we call um, solvation. Okay? So the electron is solvated by the ammonia, creating a deep blue solution. So the, the important fact that you need to know is when you dissolve sodium in ammonia, it will release a, an electron. Okay? Then this reactant is like a you know, then it will initiate the radical reaction. Okay, let's see the mechanism for this. Okay. In this case, later we will show the mechanism. In this case, the hydrogen is added in the anti faction. Okay, let me add it in the trans alkene will yield. So this is an important uh, what we call difference between these two reactions. Eh? Both of them are hydrogenation. First of them yield a cis alkene using Linde catalyst. If you are using uh, sodium dissolved in ammonia, you will yield a trans alkene. The reason why uh, is that, uh, just now we already show you, uh, the reason why you yield a syn alkene because it's added in this way. Okay? Your alkyne is attached to this uh, palladium. Okay? Then it has uh, hydrogen there. Then it, it, it will add it in this side. Okay? The same, same direction. But for the sodium uh, dissolved in ammonia, so this is a mechanism. You need to know the mechanism. Eh? You need to know the mechanism. So you can see now, after that what happened? The, the electron attack the one of the carbon, the breaking of the uh, uh, pi bond. Okay, the breaking of the pi bond. So now, if you see clearly, this is a single arrow. Okay, showing an electron attack to the carbon. Then, this is a double arrow showing that the, the bond is breaking. And this is uh, what we call um, heterolytic cleavage. Okay? Two electrons donate. Then, this now the carbon here have two electrons. Okay? In, in the exam, you do not need to show, of course, this, uh, this orbital out. What you, can, what you need to show is just like this. Okay? In the exam, if the question asks you, I'm not sure whether you ask this question or not. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. You have an electron. In this case, this electron is a single arrow. Okay? Then this one, this bond, break. A double arrow. What it will yield is, I draw in this direction. So you still have double bond. In this case, a lone pair. Isn't it? A lone pair. Plus a negative charge, R. Then this is C. This is single electron, R. Okay. So it's enough to just show. Uh, oh, okay. In this case, because now it form an alkene, it's no longer linear. Okay, no longer linear, linear structure. If you like, you can show it in this way. Okay. It's a trigonal planar. Okay, R. The reason why it draw the, the orbiter is to make you to show you eh, eh, this is a uh, what we call a trigonal planar structure. Of course, there's no wrong if you want to draw this, but it, it, no. So what you can do is draw it nicely. There is R here. If you like, you know, you draw your radical in here, a negative charge. Okay, then. This one remain. Eh? There is a R, and in this case, your your radical stay here. Eh? This is a radical here. Because your radical attack the C, now the R go to this side. So this is a radical. Okay. So it's enough to show that this. So this is a what we call because it's double bond. I explain again. So it show a trigonal planar structures. Eh? It's no longer linear structures. The linear the alkyne bond has been uh, broken. Okay, if you mistakenly show it as a single, single uh, linear structure, I think we will not punish you. Huh? The important thing is you show that the bond breaking is uh, uh, heterolytic 
Okay, and this is a single electron attack here at a single arrow. Okay, and you use this molecule as a radical anion. There is a radical and anion. Okay, if you have a more uh, good sense of art, you can show it like this. Eh? There's no, no wrong, nothing wrong with this. It's just that you, you take longer time okay, to draw a nice structure. Eh? So this is enough to uh, this is enough to represent eh, the, the, what is happening there. So the second step, because you have a, a, ammonia, eh, your solution is ammonia solution. So this anion, this anion, the negative charge or this lone pair of electron will attack. In this is a, a full arrow, eh, double arrow. Okay, uh, attack the hydrogen and this one break, yielding a uh, what do you call it? Eh, uh, a negative charge here, anion. Okay, is it called a mite? Mm, maybe yes. Okay, and uh, a vinyl radical. Okay, so now uh, hydrogen is added to here. Okay, hydrogen is added to here. So in this case, if you want to show here, you show H H H lone pair. This one attack here. This one break here. Okay, so you will yield a. Now. A H is added here, you still have a R and you have a radical here plus and H2 negative. Okay? So everything is showing here. So the st third step, now what is the reactive side? Is the radical. Okay, so your radical might attack something. Okay? So or the electron, uh, okay, this now the, the radical here. You can show actually either way. Eh? Uh, you can show now because you still have electron from the sodium. So this electron come here to form a anion. To form an anion. So this is the third step. Okay. So now it become an anion. Of course, your anion will attack another H. Okay. Your anion will attack another hydrogen from the ammonia. Okay. To yield an trans alkene. And this NH2 negative eh? uh, anion. Okay? So, how many steps? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the step is not difficult to understand because it's very straightforward. Eh? What is difficult is during the exam, you might not be able to remember if you do not practice enough. Okay? So, you have to go home and practice again and again. There is no other way. Eh? There is no other way uh, to to what we call to draw to uh, to propose or to draw the mechanism to show the mechanism. Eh? The only way is you go back and practice and check with your answer because the 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 question for mechanism is very straightforward. We will just present you a reaction, ask you to propose a mechanism. If you have not. Uh, what we call uh, do enough revision you have not uh, done enough revision you will not be able to show the mechanism okay if a doctor just read one time although I can understand uh, if sometimes eh, you ask me again then I uh, might not be able to show it to you because cannot remember <laughs> okay you just have to practice again and again okay important thing is when you start when we study mechanism the most important thing is understanding the understanding why it happened like this okay without understanding you try to memorize there is no way for you to memorize okay you you were just confused eh? so i repeat again the first step involve the electron attack the carbon eh? here a breaking of the a pi bond eh? although we normally show we normally show a sigma bond pi bond and pi bond but this bond showing is it's not sigma bond. Eh? This is a pi bond. Of course, it will involve the breaking of pi bond here. Eh? It's not breaking of sigma bond. You always break the weaker bond. Okay, so this representation is just a, an example. Okay, so when you break the bond, you understand that it's actually breaking the, the pi bond, not the sigma bond. Okay, then you, you form a radical anion. Why is, does it call radical anion? Because you have a radical here and anion. So, in one species, you have anion and radical. That's why it's called radical anion. Then the third step will be 
the lone pair of the anion will attack one of the hydrogen in the ammonia. Okay, For the H is added here, but the radical still stay there. There is only one radical. Okay, so the third step will be electron attacking the. If you show that radical attack the electron, is also no wrong actually, but. If you show the electron attack here, then you only see that uh, how does the two, uh, uh, lone pair of electron is formed. Huh? So better to show it this way. Normally, when you show it this way, uh, is add either like for example, show it this way. This is attacked to here. So as I said, it's also if you in exam uh, you have mistakenly showing that the single arrow come from a radical to attack like electron, and now the electron is added here. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Huh? Uh, theoretically is correct okay so but better to show the electron attack a radical forming a, a lone pair of electron with a negative charge now okay so now this lone pair of electron this is a repeat of this step isn't it attack the hydrogen forming a NH2 negative and a trans alkene this show how the trans alkene is formed huh? when you are using uh, sodium in ammonia. Okay, this is a totally different. What we call this is a radical reaction. Eh? Involve radical. Okay, radical coming from the electron donated by the sodium. Okay, dissolved in ammonia. Clear? Okay. So I think in second year you also study this, but never mind. Uh, now after finish with hydrogenation. Hydrogenation means adding of hydrogen okay two hydrogen atom or hydrogen molecule into the alkyne okay and the step I, as i repeat it could be repeated i think alkene eh? alkene also react with the eh? sodium in in uh, it, it depends on how many more that you use eh? what does the okay let me check eh? let me further check theoretically it's possible to undergo a second step of hydrogenation but let me further check and let you know eh? whether it's the stop here or it can continue to, to react again. Theoretically, uh, it's yes, okay? but better double confirm. Okay? So, but now, if you normally in the mechanism step, in the exam, okay, it will ask you, we will, we will show the so called alkyne. Eh? In so, normally, what we show is like this. Okay, in the question of mechanism, we will give you an alkyne. Okay, then put sodium, ammonia. Okay, then uh, put uh, H, H, R, uh, R. Uh. Okay, ask you to propose a mechanism for this reaction. So there is no question of forming another you know, second step. Okay, because it, it already show you the product and ask you to propose the mechanism to form the product. Okay. So now we go to hydrohalogenation. Eh? Hydrohalogenation means adding of HX. Okay, the mechanism is slightly different. Okay, let's see. Eh? What is the mechanism? Alkyne undergo hy hydrohalogenation. The addition of hydrogen halide eh? HX. X could be chloride, bromide, or iodide. Okay, so the first step which you have studied before have you? I think so Al alkyne react with HX so it one uh, HX is added into it the product could be E or Z okay means sin or anti-addition okay as we have studied before then after you have formed the alkene you further react with HX okay to form this geminal dihalide geminal dihalide I'm not sure. You check your book. Uh, in your textbook, does it cover uh, hydrogenation? In your textbook, Linder, Catalyst, and no. Eh? So if no, actually, for your exam, eh, we, we will not cover this. Because if I remember correctly, last time I taught KOT222. Okay? This is covered in KOT222, Linder, Catalyst, and the sodium in, in ammonia. Okay, because this is a slide prepared by Dr. Yam. Now I just recall. So, no need to study for your exam. Okay. Okay. Or you, you want 
You want to study? Also can, eh? Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me go and check. Let me double check again your final, final question. I don't think you ask this. Eh? Let me check again. Okay? Okay? That's why suddenly I remember eh? it, shouldn't, it, it shouldn't have uh, to be here. Eh? It should maybe in the uh, uh, second year. But no problem to learn more. Eh? So in the second year, you will learn a similar thing. Okay? Okay. Ask doctor again eh, on Monday. Eh? If this is not covered, because in your textbook, this is covered in the chapter, the, the, uh, maybe the chapter 12 or 13, I cannot remember. Okay? Never mind, come back to here. Hydrohalogenation. Okay, hydrohalogenation. So, now this reaction, as you can see, is following the Makonikov rules. Makonikov rule. That means the H is added to the C, which have more H. Okay, which have more H. So, the total reaction is the two equivalent of HS. HX are usually used. Addition of one more, one more of a uh, Form vinyl halide, which then react with the second mole of HS to form a geminal dihalide. Okay? So let's see. So now you have this. What is the difference between these two? One is the inter internal alkyne. Uh, no, uh, uh, this is internal alkyne. This is terminal alkyne. Okay? So if you uh, look at the first example, this react with HX. So you can propose, eh, where does the H going to act? Uh, these are symmetrical, so there is no, uh, no question of where does it act. Okay, it can act at either side. So let's say they add here, so the Cl is added here. And this could be E or J, syn addition or anti addition. Okay, but the final product, the final product, as you can see the fi pro final product, have at the end you have two H added at the same side, and two Cl added at the same side. This is what we call the uh, geminal huh? dihalide. The reason why, why don't that one H one Cl one H one Cl? Because the reaction follow the Makonikov rules. Okay, it involves the formation of the uh, carbocation. Okay, so how about this? This is terminal alkyne. We have a HX. In this case, this is not symmetric. Okay, this is not symmetric. So the H must be added to this C. Okay? It must be added to this C. After that, second HBI is added. You get the here. Okay? Both H end up on the terminal C. Okay? End up at the terminal C. So let's read from here. With two equivalent of HS, both H atom bond to the same carbon. Okay? With a terminal alkyne, both H atom bond to the terminal carbon. That is the hydrogenation of alkyne following the Makonikov rules. Okay, so the H is bonded to the carbon with more H. Okay, so the end result is a geminal dihalide. Okay, how about this? With only one equivalent of HX, the reaction stop with the formation of vinyl dihalide. Eh? If you only have using one equivalent, the reaction stop here. And the H is also added to the to the uh, following the Makonikov rules. Okay, following the Makonikov rules. Okay, it could be uh, in this case there's no no issue of sin or trans because you only use this product. Okay, with two H. Eh? When you have two similar group attached in one attached at one side of the C, there is no issue of cis or trans. Okay. So now, what is the mechanism? Uh, this is I think it's in the book. This is very sure it's in cover in your syllabus for, for this. Okay? So now the attack, uh, the electron attack the HBR forming a uh, this is special. Uh, this is what we call a vinyl carbocation. This is a little bit different from what you have learned. Because now you start with triple bond. Okay, you start with triple bond with a H and uh, CH2, CH3. Okay, if you have a HBr, this is slightly positive, this is slightly negative, this is a, a pi bond. Okay, attack from here, this bond break. Okay, so because following the Makonikov rules, the H should be added to this C. Okay, should be added to this C. So now 
uh, you show it because now it's a trigonal planar structure. You have a H, and this is a new H added here. So because of breaking of bond, this is a heterolytic bond. So it gain a positive charge here, like what you show last time is a carbocation. But this is a V now carbocation because it have a double bond. Okay, this is still the same. V now a carbocation, and you can show here. You know either way, CH two. CH3, although you straight straight line also no wrong. Okay? Because <coughs> so uh, what I want to say is this we now carbocation is slightly unstable because we have a double bond and we have a positive charge here. Huh? So what does it say? The pi bond attack the H atom of the HBR to form a new CH bond, generating a V now carbocation. Addition following the Markovnikov rules, H positive added to the less substituted carbon atom to form the more substituted, more stable carbocation. Eh? This is still more stable because this is more substituted. Okay, this is more substituted. Okay, if your H added here, this is less substituted. Okay, so nucleophilic attack of the bromide then form a vinyl bromide. So the next step is after you form a carbocation, the step is the same. Eh? So the bromide. Bromide anion now attack the carbocation okay, to form this a V now bromide. But this intermediate is unstable. So the reaction of alkyl with HS is less uh, reactive compared to the reaction of alkene to HX. Okay, later we will cover. So the following step will be the same. After you have formed the vinyl bromide, you have a double bond. So now the pi bond attack the the H here for uh, so the H also added to the uh, C with more H following the Markovnikov rules. Okay, so generation of a carbocation, more substituted carbocation, and the step repeat again a bromide added here. So the end result is is this uh, G minal dihalide. Okay, the two Br must be added on the same C, and the two H must be added on the same C. Okay, following the Markovnikov rules. Okay. This is also not difficult to understand. It's only one step uh, more, okay, compared to the what you have learned previously. Uh, but now it involves the formation of vinyl carbocation intermediate, which is not stable. Uh, so compare the reaction of alkyne with alkene. The reaction of alkene is more is faster, is more reactive uh, with HX, okay. So now, let's see, uh, electrophilic addition of HX to alkyne is slower, uh, is slower than that to alkene due to the formation of unstable vinyl carbocation. Okay, so this is unstable. Makonikov addition in the step 3 place the H on the terminal carbon to form the more substituted carbon. Uh, as I said, this is a repeat of what I said. Uh, this addition attack here so that the carbocation is formed here, not this one. Because if you form this, this is less substituted, okay, less substituted. This is more substituted. So this is, there are two important facts here eh, in this, eh, in this uh, what we call mechanism, okay. So now we continue. And also there is an addition fact here, why this is more stable. Uh, first, it's more substituted. Second, it can form a rational structure. You, you try to see that okay you can form a, 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 a this is the second step eh? a rational structure you try to see that this bromide uh, this uh, bromine he had a lone pair of electron okay you have three lone pair of electron so because this is a positive charge carbocation so the electron can donate to form a, a double bond so this we draw the double arrow here showing that this is a rational structure. Okay, they, in, in reality, uh, it is a hybrid this is called a hybrid molecule. Okay? This is how sometimes it's a single bond, sometimes it's double bond. So this is what we call a rational structure. So if, if you were asked in the exam, you must be able to show this. Uh, why the this intermediate okay in the sec, uh, in the this step is more stable than this one give two reasons two reasons okay the first reason is because 
they carbocation is more substituted, stabilized by the alkyl group, electron loading group. Second is there is a possibility to form a resonance structures. Eh? The bromine can donate a lone pair of electron to form a, a resonance structure showing here. Okay, clear? So it's very clear. Eh? So the resonance stabilize the molecule by delocalizing charge and electron density. I mean delocalizing means it, it, it can the electron is mobilized. Okay, it can move from here to here and from there. Okay, after that, after you form this, you show that this bond breaking come back here, so you get back this structure. Okay, thus halogen stabilize and excitation positive charge by resonance. The reason why halogen can stabilize a positive charge because it has lone pair of electron. Eh? It can donate to form a, a double bond. Clear? So let's continue. After we finish with the hydro halogenation, mean adding add, adding of HX. Now we continue with the halogenation. Okay, mean added of halogen molecule into it. Okay, so you have also covered it before. The mechanism is similar to that with the alkene. Still remember the mechanism. We form a three membrane, a uh, three membrane uh, halogen cation. Okay, epoxy, uh, something like epoxy. So this will follow the, the same mechanism also, and also the same 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 rules. What are the product? Let's see, yeah, anti product. Uh, it will you a uh, anti product. Okay, so ha halogen, halogen add to alkyl just as they do to alkene. Addition of one more of X two, uh, form a trans dihalide. The reason is this is a anti-addition. So remember, you just study last chapter, eh? which can then react with the second mole of X2 to yield a tetrahalide. So after if you react, react with the second halogen, you won't be able to distinguish already eh? because it form a alkane, eh? a tetrahalide. For X is added into it. Okay. So the first step, this is the first step, alkyne react with the halogen to yield a a trans uh, we now halide dihalide you know trans we now dihalide then the second step uh, two cl more atom is added again in the anti fraction to yield a tetra halide okay so the mechanism this is uh, uh, the only difference is this is triple bond what you have studied before is a, a double bond okay so you can see that this is triple bond showing the same thing uh, the Pi bond break, attack the carbon, uh, cor chlorine atom and the lone pair forming a new bond. Eh? This involves a new bond formation, uh, a two new bond formation. Eh? Two new bonds are formed. Okay? Then you yield a something, a three membrane uh, cation with a chlorine with a positive charge. Then the second step, the only difference is now this is a double bond. Previously, because you start with double bond, Huh? You have only one sigma bond. Now you have a double bond. So now then the chlorine chloride attack, okay, from below, okay, to you a a trans dihalide. Okay, this chloride break here, this bond break. So they, they are in the anti fraction, similar to the one in alkene. Okay, so the 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 following step, the next step will be a repeat. From here, uh, you show again the double bond break. Uh, this is uh, exactly the same what you have studied before uh, with a double bond. Then we yield this. Okay. Now a chloride again attack. Okay. Then to yield a tetrahalide. Okay. So this this is the same with what you have studied before. Okay. So the end result is a addition of two more of halogen into the alkyne. Did you write your attendance today? No. Okay. But this is the end of semester already, eh? so we have only two weeks left. Should we continue or should we stop continue by Monday? Eh? I think quite a lot, eh? better stop. Today you learn many mechanisms. Although it's not difficult, but your mind is already saturated. Eh? Okay? <laughs>